Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and today is a huge day because we are at a restaurant which is called La Maison, where Chef Bin, he cooks this overly gigantic, super-sized burger. You could work out with this burger. We're gonna go to his restaurant. Uh, he is gonna show us how to make it. You need teamwork to flip this burger. Okay, we're gonna see, we're gonna watch the entire process, and I cannot wait to share this burger with you and take that massive bite. But it's gonna be a lot of fun and the burger, not only does it, is it supersized, but it looks extremely delicious. It's actually pretty stable. So welcome to La Maison by Chef Billy. Uh, but in Thai, I believe he pronounces his name Chef Bin. So Chef Bin, where he serves uh, mainly Western food. It looks like a lot of French food and Italian food, uh, but Western food. And he also specializes in burgers. Just a quick note about the supersized gigantic burgers that you have to order it three days in advance. It's because he makes everything for his burgers from scratch, from the beef to the toppings uh, to the bread. He bakes his own bread. This is a bakery too. So mainly you have to order this gigantic burger three days in advance because he has to bake the massive supersized hamburger bun uh, for your burger. <laughs> Let me introduce you to Chef, Chef Bean, right? Chef, 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 Chef or Chef Billy in English. Chef, Chef, Chef Billy in English. Thank you so much for having us today. I'm very excited to be here and he's going to get started on our order on the burger. And that bun, that hamburger bun is massive. It weighs one and a half kilos. One kilo. Three. Oh, three kilos. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh man, three kilos of beef. That is massive. It's like an entire cake. takes up almost the entire griddle, it's huge. I mean, just keeping this burger in shape, in form, is a, a feat of engineering in and of itself. Uh, and then also on the hot griddle, Chef is making up, it's a melted cheese sauce. Oh man, that looks thick and rich. The burger is also so big that it has to cook for 30 minutes. We're only five minutes in and my mouth is already starting to water. You can just hear the oils hissing, the fatty juices coming out of that burger meat, that minced meat, so thick, it's like, it's like that thick. Chef is also gonna get started on our other dishes as the burger is cooking. This one have a preparation time about three days. First, we marinate one day, confit, 24 hours, and then next, the next day can, can eat. Can eat, okay, Two and you fry it, right?
Chef Billy, where did you learn to cook Western food? Uh, I have learned at OHEP. OHEP is a culinary school of the Oriental Hotel. Ah, Mandarin Oriental. Oh, the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. Yes. And I work, work at uh, Oriental at Le Normandie Kitchen. Oh, okay. About two years. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's awesome. That's a normal sized burger, and that is the super sized burger by Chef Billy. Okay, it's time for that flip. You need teamwork to flip this burger and that is just perfectly cooked on the one side perfectly golden caramelized and you can just see that like like buckets of juice are coming out of this burger oh man that flip was incredible <laughs> Burger also includes onion rings, a ton of onion rings. That's just the regular burger. Oh, and I hear the alarm ringing. Getting close, almost all of the ingredients and the toppings are ready that are gonna go into the burger. They're about to start assembling it. That bread is just insanely huge. You could use that as a pillow. Okay, come here. <laughs> Chef is just toasting the bun, which he already buttered on the inside. You can just see the pillowy, the bounciness of it, the fluffiness of it. Signature sauce, like a barbecue sauce. Made by Twenty Ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
I almost forgot about this cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Chef Billy. Did you come? How many kilos all together, Chef? I think 4.5. 4.5 kilos. Yes. That was unbelievable. That's by far the biggest burger I've ever seen. And Chef Billy just, oh man, he rocked, rocked that burger. That was, it took teamwork to make this burger. This burger, it's just, it's actually ridiculous. No, I'm not. <laughs> Hurry, it's heavy. Four, four and a half kilos, but it might even be more than that. That is, wow, you could work out with this burger. I am gonna work out with this burger. You can almost just feel the, the meat juices and the wobbliness of the entire structure. Oh, kapum mm -hmm. Strip loin, waku, rosini steak. Wow, steak too. Thank you, chef. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chef uh, brought us out a steak, which is another signature dish uh, with rosemary, with garlic. So we have a number of dishes, uh, but have to begin with the supersized burger. And I'm just gonna ask uh, Chef Billy to, to slice it in half. I already attempted to pick up the whole burger, I, that's not gonna work. It's gonna just crumble and fall, but I think half the burger, we can do that. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I think just leave it as half for now. I want, you think I can pick up a half <laughs> to eat? <laughs> 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 we asked Chef Billy how many people this burger serves and he said for 10 to 15 people. <laughs> That's how big. You can feed not only a family, but an entire party. One burger for your entire party. I can't stop giggling in excitement, anticipation, and happiness right now. It might be a mission impossible, but I am going to attempt it. I just have to. There was no way to pick up the full burger, but can we can we attempt to pick up the half burger? <laughs> oh yeah, it's actually pretty stable. <laughs> oh man, the softness of that bun. Oh, it literally is pillow soft and spongy. <laughs> oh wow. You have to put your whole face in it. Mm. But the taste is amazing. Oh, that burger patty is just melts and crumbles in your mouth. The crispiness of the bacon, all those sauces, the creaminess of the mayo, the creaminess of the cheese, the crunch of the tomato. Oh, wow. It's actually seasoned perfectly. I think I totally missed the bun on my first bite. I only got, I only got pure beef. Okay, we'll try to get bun on this bite. You put your whole face on it. <laughs> it helps to have a really, a really huge jaw for a burger like this. What immediately strikes me about this burger is that it's actually, it's not a food challenge. It's made for 10 to 15 people. Because it's not a food challenge, it's like extremely good quality food. The quality will just immediately stand out at you. The quality of the beef, the ingredients that he uses, the bread which he home bakes himself. If I have to set this down, I'm getting sore. <laughs> oh, I'm getting sore in, in my armpit area from lifting that burger. Okay, let's go in again. Let's explore.
Another thing that Chef Billy mentioned is that if you don't like birthday cake, you can order this burger for your birthday. That sounds like my kind of a birthday celebration. Wow, the onions in there. I think, I think the bread just went up my nose. <laughs> the combination, the juiciness. Oh wow. This is the ultimate burger. Oh, that was my first bite of the cheese sauce. I've taken like 10 bites already, and you can barely see I've made even a dent in the burger. But I'm gonna set it down for now so we can try the other dishes. Okay, but let's try the other burger because it, we, we ordered this burger with lamb, right? Yeah. So it's a lamb burger. He also specializes in lamb burgers. <laughs> this thing feels like so tiny. This feels like the smallest burger of my life, even though this is still a very good sized burger. Mm, a lamb patty, onion ring cheese, the special sauce, the Philly special, special sauce. Barbecue sauce, like a mild barbecue sauce. Tangy, sweet, sour. Oh, and now I taste the lamb coming through. Oh, that's awesome. One of his signature dishes here is the pesto pasta. And I watched a little bit as she made this pasta. She cooked it over such a high flame, just smoked it out. That sauce just bubbling away. Uh, looks and smells extremely delicious. Finish it off with some cheese and then fried shrimp on the side. Oh, that's delicious. Rich, a perfect balance of cheese, the pasta, a smokiness. Oh, really good. And then another one of Chef's signature dishes is the duck confit. Um, cooked in its own fat and then deep fried, served with mashed potatoes, beetroot, maybe some, or cabbage, I think it's cabbage. Um, and then, oh, oh yeah. Oh, that duck looks incredible. Oh, wow. And I am a huge lover of duck confit. The texture of that duck, it just melts in your mouth. You feel like the fat which has just been soaked and embedded all the way to the bone. The texture of the mashed potatoes. You taste a little bit of a red wine sauce in there as well. Oh, that's extremely good. And then the steak. Dip it in the sauce. The tenderness, the juiciness, the smokiness. Uh, finished with just a little bit of salt and pepper, perfectly caramelized on the edges. Well, it's tender. Final dish that we got is a special dish. Uh, there's some grilled shrimp and then looks like kind of a fruit salad. Mostly a fruit salad, yeah. So I'm gonna try one of these shrimp, these grilled shrimps, um, along with, there's strawberry in there, there's tomato and maybe mango. Like a fruit salsa with strawberries, really nice. Gives you a nice balance, a nice tartness. And then the salty, peppery prawns, which have a nice bounce to them. Circling back around to the burger. I think one of the, ha one of the aspects of this burger that you can't deny is how much fun it is to eat. This is just fun food. And it's incredibly durable. I mean, just the fact that I'm picking up the half a burger and it hasn't collapsed, there hasn't been too much backslide. I mean, there have been a few avalanches of cheese, a few avalanches of meat and toppings, but overall, it's impressive how well engineered this burger is to hold everything inside. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. And I really love his special sauce too. I mean, the quarter is huge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Ying is about to try the burger. First bite, Ying. First bite, Ning Tong Sam. Mmm. Yeah, I'm going to eat it. Mmm. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh, I'm not. Mmm. The beef is really good. Okay, so we're gonna sit here for the next hour and try to finish as much of this burger and other food as possible. Oh man, today is 
it's a celebration of a burger. I think I'm gonna have to slice off my, my quarter. You actually have to saw through this entire burger. <laughs> this is one of the most fun burgers that you will ever eat in your life. It's just so much fun to eat and to chop and to saw and to put your face into. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I think the tomato fell on the floor. Oops, and I can guarantee you, you'll get cheese up your nose. And it's so worth it. <laughs> really like it. Yeah, Ying really loves the duck confit, but it is outstanding. The duck confit, highly recommended when you come here, along with the burger, of course. But I'm starting to slow down. I'm starting to get the meat sweats. This is gonna be my last fistful of burger. The digestion sweats are kicking in. <sighs> the deep breathing. What's that? Might have to be two burgers. I survived with only minor injuries and just with a few casualties of sauce and tomato falling on the floor. But other than that, we're all intact, and that completes my quarter of the super size burger. Oh, that was a journey. <laughs> oh, I want to spend the night here. My shirt has gotten tighter. I'm just going to lean my head against the wall. Oh man, that is a burger that you're guaranteed to not be able to do anything for the rest of the day, maybe for the rest of the week after you eat that. And so that is going to complete the most gigantic, supersize, huge burger that I have ever seen, that I've ever eaten. As big as it is, the deliciousness will impress you and the quality of the ingredients, the beef, the bread, and the price for the giant burger is 2,999 baht, basically 3,000 baht. But considering that it feeds 10 to 15 people, uh, price is not bad, especially again for the quality and quantity. Also, we originally found this restaurant on a channel called Se Rong Hai. They're one of the best food review channels in all of Thailand. I'll have the video that they made in the description box as well, so you could check out their video. Uh, but just wanted to say a huge thank you to Se Rong Hai for this recommendation. And Chef Billy, he's just so passionate about what he's doing. He's just an extremely nice chef. And I'll have all of his information, the restaurant, in the description box below that you can check out. But highly recommended. Great food, great people. And so that's going to be it for this video. I want to say a huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon. And that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Bangkok. And I will see you on the next video.